Update My sister, 18 female, was sleeping with my oldest sister's, 24 female, husband, 32 male. Original story Help, please. I have two sisters, 18 to 24, and I overheard my one sister talking and flirting to my other sister's husband and insinuating that they hooked up or were going to hook up. Okay, hi everyone. First of all, I'm sorry if this is something that seems obvious, but I don't always know the right thing to do or react to things. I usually say or do the wrong things that always make things worse, so I'm really sorry. I would text my friends about this, but our lake house doesn't have any cell service or Wi-Fi, just a computer connected to the internet, so here I am. I'm 14 female and on a vacation with my family. I have two sisters, Abby is 18 female and Claire is 24 female, who is married to John who is 32 male. Last night, Claire wasn't feeling well, so she went to bed early. My parents went to bed not long after that, so it was just me, Abby and John. They were sitting on a sofa together while I was on a recliner and they were both drinking. Eventually, I started to kind of fall asleep, but I wasn't totally out and they start kind of whispering to each other. John is telling her how pretty and beautiful she is, and then they start talking about something he had bought her. And then he started saying stuff like he wanted to be with her and stuff. Guess they thought I was sleeping and couldn't hear them. But they didn't stay in the living room much longer. Anyway, I know I should tell Abby, but I don't know what to say. I'm also worried. We're supposed to be here for another four days, and it's going to be so weird. I also still have to live with Abby, and she's already mean to me and does messed up stuff. So I'm really worried what she's going to do if I tell. Because obviously she's going to know it was me, and that I overheard. Plus, I'm worried she'll just call me a liar, and then everyone will get mad at me. What do I do? What do I say? I'm so sorry. I know I should probably already know what to say, and I guess this is a dumb post. I'm just so worried about saying the wrong thing. I don't want my family to hate me. I don't know if I explained everything right, so I'll answer any questions if I didn't. Thanks a lot for your time, everyone. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Gather up your family and tell them what happened. All of them, and explain what happened. Including Abby and John? Should they be there too? Yes, they should, because you all need to talk. Also, having your parents there is good, so you have people to protect you. Gather up everyone and explain it to them calmly and stick to the facts. I don't know how my parents will react to this. I hope they'd protect me. When this all goes south, you do not want to be the one who knew and didn't say anything. Let them all know. Let the cheats know what you heard, and that you have to tell your older sister and let her know. Just time it so they don't have time to come up with a good flip. In this case, you might let your parents know first. They might understand what you're going through and give you a bit of strength and backup. But you do have to let your older sister know at minimum. I would add to those. Don't tell any of them one-on-one. -on -one. I would advise telling your parents first and confronting your sister and husband with your parents to back you up. People who are scared of being discovered are unpredictable. And the husband or even your sister may try to hurt you if you corner them alone. I'm sorry you're in this position. This is one hell of a minefield you're in, little cousin. Were you able to record anything at all? If you can't be upfront with your elder sister, find a covert way to tell her and let her figure out the rest. No, I didn't record anything. And I don't know how to do that. What would I say to be covert? I'm really bad at this. This isn't something anybody is good at, unless you're a trained private investigator. Does your sister know all your friends' numbers? I'd send sister a text from your friend's or boyfriend's phone. Something one step removed so it's harder to tie it to you. But you probably need to do it face to face with both parents there. I hope your dad isn't crazy. Face to face lets them see in your face that you're serious. All you really have is speculation right now though. And now for the update. Hi everyone. So I 14 female had a post here where I basically asked for advice about a situation I overheard between my sister Abby 18 female and my older sister Claire's 24 female husband 32 male. Basically they thought I was sleeping and started flirting and talking about sleeping together. I told my oldest sister and my parents and they freaked out and it made a whole huge fight. Which I feel bad about because I ruined everyone's vacation but I think my oldest sister needed to know. It ended up that John was sleeping with Abby for probably a while, and my parents were so pissed. I thought they'd be pissed at me too, but they weren't. So they kicked Abby out, like legit. 
my mom, she's crazy. I threw all of her clothes out of the house and told her to get the hell out and not bother coming back home. Clara lost her mind on John, and he called her all kinds of bad names. And him and my dad almost got into a fist fight. But he left too, and I don't know where him or Abby are staying. My sister is a mess, and I think she's definitely going to break up with John. I'm sad that what I said blew everything up. But I guess I'm glad my sister knows now because that wasn't fair to her what was going on. I can't believe they were just talking about it in front of me. I really wish I just hadn't heard anything. So that's the update. And it sucks. And I feel really bad. Thanks to everyone who commented though. An affair with your 18-year-old just now of age sister? Possibly went on for a while. Han, call the police. John is a cop. That's even worse. Dude is a cop and is sleeping with a girl barely out of high school? You did the right thing telling your sister. I feel really, really bad about all the drama I caused, but I feel like it would have been worse if I didn't. You didn't cause the drama. Your sister and brother-in-law did by being crappy. You just exposed their crappiness. Yeah, I guess you're right. Tell your sister it's not her fault. She didn't know she married a sleaze. I don't know when your sister turned 18, but a 32-year-old cop being intimate with a teenager screams pressure to me. Don't get me wrong, your sister messed up, but I also doubt it was her idea. How long were they together, and how long had he been sleeping with the 18-year-old? Was she groomed? John is a gigantic dirtbag. I don't know. I don't know a lot about it, just kind of what it is, but probably for at least a year, unfortunately. I'm a bit worried about Abby. I get the feeling John may have grouped her. She's only 18. He got the impression that this has been going on for a while. He talked about buying her things. He's both older and an authority figure as a cop. I get your mom and Claire being angry at her, but I think someone needs to find her and ask her some questions about this relationship. When did it start, how, etc. Given the ages involved, I feel like John may be a pred. My sister says it's been at least a year. Now for the last story. Update. My 16 female sister's 23 female husband 34 male made weird comments about me that made me uncomfortable. I told mom, 47 female, and she said I'm acting jealous. Original story. Okay, so last night was my birthday. My sister and her husband, they got married a few months ago, came over to celebrate along with my parents and me and our little brother. My sister's husband was drinking a lot. We have a big backyard and we're all in the pool. At one point, my brother-in-law got a phone call so he went inside to talk. My dad wanted to grill more burgers, so he asked me to go into the basement for more lighter fuel. My house is really big, but a lot of people don't realize that the vents are all connected and sound travels. So my brother-in-law was in a second floor bathroom but I could hear him through the vents in the basement. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, so I'm not sure how this conversation started. But then I overheard him say, Yeah, I'm here for her birthday. You should see what she's wearing. It's insane. Then he described my bathing suit, said my body was so tight it makes him sick, and then said how it sucks it was my 16th birthday. He was still talking, but I felt really weird and freaked out, so I ran out and went to my mom. I took her aside, she had been talking to my sister, and told her everything I had heard. After I was done, she literally rolled her eyes and said really loud, Please, Asher, if you're going to make up stories, at least make them plausible. At this point, my brother-in-law was back outside, so I was really freaked out who was going to hear. But my mom kept saying stuff like, why would he look at a kid like that when he has my sister? How my sister is prettier anyway. And it's clear I've been jealous since they have gotten married. I got really upset and just left. I think I might have been crying, but as I'm going back in, my mom says super loudly to everyone how I need to pick to be dramatic or a liar, but I can't be both. My mom has always liked my sister more than me, but she's never been that mean. I feel like if I talk to my sister, she's just going to say I'm dramatic and jealous too, because that's what my mom said. Now for the top advice before reading the update. He is a perv and maybe a ped. How old was your sister when she got with him? I'm not sure. I know they met while she was in college. I think 19 or 20? Cool. He still is a weirdo and a perv. Keep a close eye on him. He seems like the type to force himself on you. 
stay cautious. It's not surprising that with an age gap like that in their marriage, that her husband is already looking at someone younger than her. They don't believe you. So what you do is distance yourself as much as humanly possible from that scumbag. You should tell your sister too. Not for an I told you so moment possibly in the future, but so that she can't say you didn't warn her if he eventually leaves her or cheats on her with someone younger. Even if she says you're dramatic, you keep your distance and say you want absolutely nothing to do with him. Then have a conversation with your mother again. I know I'm young, but I need you to take me seriously. He made inappropriate comments and you don't have my back. If you really think I'm being dramatic, then I know I can't trust you and I really need you to have my back. Thanks for this advice. I think I'm going to tell my sister. I'm scared of her reaction. Look, the best thing to do is to stay far away from that creep. If you hear him saying something, record him if possible. He will probably text you or something when you turn 18, take pictures and block him. You can use those pictures as proof of your mom and sister. Most likely he will cheat on your sister, and hopefully they will break up soon anyway. Tell your sister and dad if he is in a picture. They may not believe you, which will suck, but just tell them so they have it in the back of their head to think about, even if they don't believe you. Well, you 100% know that if anyone ever violates you, your mom will not be supportive. You need to start looking out for yourself today. Is it fair? No. Will it help you stay alive and not violated? Yes, but only help. If your brother-in-law is around, just do not go swimming or swim in a t-shirt and shorts. Avoid being in the room with him alone. When you go out with friends, put your safety first. It does not sound like you have family that will believe you or fight for you. You can't rely on them, but you can rely on yourself. Don't put yourself in dangerous situations. I wouldn't dwell on this. We all grow up with parents with faults. You are stronger than you think and you don't owe anyone an explanation. Push comes to shove, your mom showed her true colors. And if she's not going to look out for you, who will? You. Now for the update. So the next day, I ended up telling my sister what I overheard her husband saying and she flipped out. I guess this wasn't the first time he's talked about me. And last time, she confronted him about it. And he just brushed it off like he was just joking. He made her feel like she was weird for thinking this comments were weird. So I guess she confronted him about it. And he got really mad and was like, Oh, that little witch was listening outside the door? And stuff like that. But then my sister was like, Um, no. She heard you down in the basement through the vents. So then he was like, Well, I was just saying she was pretty. So I don't know what's wrong with that. And my sister was like, WTF? This is the second time you've specifically talked about her body. Anyway, so right now she kicked him out. And he's staying with his brother because she's really creeped out by the whole situation. They don't have any kids or anything. So maybe if she decides to break up with him, it won't be that bad. I'm glad your sister had your back. I know. I am too. I was worried she was going to react the way my mom did. Super awful your mom reacted that way. Does your mom know what has happened since? Did she apologize to you? No, she didn't. I'm not sure if she knows. I haven't really talked to her since then as I've been staying away from her. I'm happy she had a common sense to call him out. I am too. I was worried she would think I was lying to. If you're comfortable talking about it, how does your mom feel about the situation now that your sister has taken your side? I hope she apologized to you. She hasn't. I've been avoiding her since it's happened, so we really haven't talked. I'm so glad your sister believed you. I just want you to know that none of this is on you, Opie. You are a child. Do you know what I think when I see children in bathing suits? Damn, I wish they made adults bathers that cute. It is A, not normal to be sexualizing your significant other's sibling. B, not normal to be doing that to your significant other's underage sibling. And C, not okay ever to do that to a minor. The reason the onus is on adults is because we know better. Do not let your brother-in-law convince you he was innocent. Because he's relying on those blurred lines to say, Well, I didn't know she'd find it offensive. He knew. He knows. I'm so sorry you had to put up with this creep. But I'm so sorry your mom didn't believe you. Be safe, Opie. Thank you. 
Not only does he know what he's doing is creepy, it also what it did to Opie's sister. For a 34-year-old man to be married to a 23-year-old woman, he had to have started dating her when she was barely more than a child. Opie, this may not seem like as big a deal to you at 16, but when you're in your 30s, look back at 18 to 22 years old and tell me whether you think a man dating them is anything but gross and it abuse power. Opie, I'm so glad that your sister saw through him. I hope she gets a divorce because her husband is a creep. And it's appalling that your mother didn't support you on this front. While this isn't strictly your mother's fault, the fact that your mother is so willing to blame women for something objectively horrible that a man did is part of why her daughters have been vulnerable to your brother-in-law. Shame on her.